Well, that's the problem. The James Webb Space Telescope is upsetting the apple cart. All of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now, it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy with 100 billion stars, many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. That shouldn't happen. There should not be primordial galaxies that are bigger than the Milky Way galaxy that are only half a billion years old. Something is wrong. We may have to revise our theory of the creation of the universe. More than two years after the remarkable launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, Astronomers are experiencing an unprecedented era of discovery as the telescope redefines the boundaries of what we can observe. However, these breakthroughs have also unveiled a Pandora's box of puzzles for cosmologists. Recently, the telescope's observations once again ventured into the initial 500 million years following the Big Bang. This time, it uncovered galaxies that are anything but immature. They are extraordinarily massive, and far more developed than previously predicted for such an early epoch. Now astronomers are examining a galaxy that could be among the oldest ever recorded. The surprising part? It already harbors billions of stars. Fascinatingly, just two years ago, the Hubble Space Telescope detected this cosmic behemoth as an unusual dot of light in its field of view. At that time, scientists couldn't have envisioned that this faint speck of light was an enormous galaxy lingering at the edge of cosmic history until the Webb telescope turned its focus on it. Webb's findings revealed that the dot of light is actually a primordial galaxy, significantly more massive and evolved than expected. Named GZ9P3, this galaxy resides at a redshift of Z equals 9.3, meaning we see it as it existed only 510 million years post Big Bang. Although other galaxies from around 350 to 500 million years after the Big Bang have been spotted, none compare to the size of this one. These observations suggest that stars in this galaxy must have formed at a far more rapid and efficient pace than previously understood to reach such immense proportions. But that's not the full story. GZ9P3 also has an unusual structure that may hold clues to the early universe's mysteries. Researchers discovered that the galaxy contains two bright regions, representing dense nuclei. This strongly hints at a galactic collision, two primordial galaxies merging in the universe's infancy. Furthermore, the team didn't just uncover the galaxy's age, mass, and structure. They also delved into its stellar population. They found that young, luminous stars dominate its appearance. By using the James Webb Space Telescope, the team identified elements such as silicon, carbon, and iron within the older stars of GZ9P3. Iron, the heaviest element stars can produce, disperses into space when stars explode. This process enriched the early cosmos with metals, which later contributed to the formation of new stars. Surprisingly, GZ9P3 holds a larger population of old stars than expected, indicating that galaxies may have reached chemical maturity far quicker than anticipated. This unexpectedly advanced stellar population challenges current cosmological models, implying that star formation might have started earlier and proceeded more rapidly than previously assumed. A revised framework could be needed to explain how galaxies attained such a chemically advanced state in addition to their astonishing size. Additionally, the data suggests that galactic mergers may have been more prevalent in the early universe than once believed. While our current cosmological understanding isn't entirely incorrect, it seems our perception of how quickly galaxies formed and matured needs revision. Even though our cosmological models are grounded in meticulous observations, theories, and mathematical foundations, there are indications that the universe isn't behaving entirely as expected. You've likely heard of the crisis in cosmology. 
This dilemma arose when different methods of calculating the universe's age and expansion rate produced conflicting results, a challenge that persists today. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its groundbreaking observations, has further complicated this crisis. The universe is expanding, and distant galaxies are moving farther away from us. When we calculate the rate of this expansion using the Cosmic Microwave Background, CMB, light left over from when the universe was just 380,000 years old, we obtain one result. However, another method using the brightness of distant supernovae as standard candles yields a different result for the expansion rate. This discrepancy, known as the Hubble tension, lies at the heart of this cosmological predicament. But this isn't the only issue. A newer cosmological challenge, dubbed the S8 tension, has emerged. This conflict pertains to the distribution and clumpiness of matter across the universe. Scientists measure this clumpiness in two distinct ways. One, using low redshift data like gravitational lensing, where massive objects distort the light from distant stars. Two, using the standard cosmological model based on CMB data. The trouble is, the two methods yield incompatible results. To address this, researchers initiated the Flamingo Project, one of the largest cosmological simulations ever conducted, requiring over 50 million hours of computing time. Unlike earlier simulations focused only on dark matter, Flamingo included the effects of ordinary baryonic matter. While the project succeeded in some aspects, accurately simulating galaxies like the Milky Way, it couldn't resolve the S8 tension. It even hinted that our standard cosmological model might need serious revision. Moreover, Flamingo's results conflict with Webb Telescope observations regarding the distribution of matter in the universe. It appears galaxies are 5 to 7 percent less clumped than our models predict, adding another layer of complexity. Webb's recent observations also validate the Hubble tension, deepening the debate further. The universe's expansion rate, as defined by the Hubble constant, doesn't align across various methods of measurement. Some scientists now suggest new physics might be needed to explain these contradictions. With measurement errors largely eliminated, we're left with the thrilling possibility that our understanding of the universe's fundamentals may be incomplete. Could this mean we've misunderstood the very fabric of reality? Some theories even propose eliminating dark matter entirely. What are your thoughts? Are we on the brink of a cosmological revolution? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to Discoveria 2.0 for more fascinating insights.